Hey boys and girls, so yesterday we read the book Bugs Are Insects and then you should have watched a Brain Pop Junior video all about insects. Well today we're going to start working in your insect book. So on the front cover you can put your name because it says it's written and illustrated by and you're going to be the author and the illustrator of this book. When you have that done, we're going to turn to the very first page and we're gonna do some facts about insects. Now the first box up here says, insect bodies are divided into three parts. Now, do you guys remember what one of those parts is called? What was the top part? We have this part of our body too. You're right, the head. Let's write the word head on line number one. Ooh, and next, what's another part called? We have the thorax. So we have the head and the thorax. Can you write thorax on line number two? So we have head, thorax. There's one more part. It's an ab abdomen. You are correct. So we're going to write the word abdomen on line number three. So the three parts of an insect body are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And remember, to be classified as an insect, it has to have those three body parts. All right, boys and girls. Now down here it says insects have two blank. What were those things on the top of their head? They had two of them. <clears throat> some were short and some were long. Antenna. So you're going to write the word antenna right here on this line because insects have two antenna. And we're going to find out later what each insect uses those antenna for. It's pretty interesting. I bet you'll be interested to find some of the different things that they do. All right, so they have two antenna and six. What do they have to have six of? You're right, six legs. Write that word legs right down there on the bottom because insects have two antenna, six legs, and three body parts. Now over here is a jar, and I want you to choose some insects to draw into that jar. You could draw a butterfly, you could draw an ant, you could draw a bee, you could draw a beetle, a praying mantis. There's lots of different insects you could draw into your jar. All right, boys and girls. Tomorrow, you're going to be learning about a specific insect. You'll have to check back tomorrow to find out which one. Have a great day.